Good morning. I hope everything's great in your life today. Uh, it's a wonderful time in, in life, it seems to me, to get up and enjoy the beauty of the day. It's a cooler day than it's been in a while. I, I want to think with you for a minute today about one of the really challenging statements made by James. It's right at the beginning of the little book of James. When he says, my brethren, consider it all joy when you fall into all kinds of temptations or trials, knowing that the trying of our faith works perseverance, and let perseverance have its perfect work, that you may be mature or mature, uh, perfect and entire in every way. Now, think about this. Most of us, by the very nature of life, when trials and troubles come, then, then we get down and, and distressed by it. It's common for us to call on others and ask for their help and even plead with them to remember us in, in their prayers as we deal with the troubles of life. And I suppose that uh, all of that is, is the norm and yet, here is a challenge from James that just seems to cut right against everything that we would think. Consider it all joy when you fall into all kinds of trials. Now, there are things that we go through that we would consider trials that we might say, well, you know, I can see how good is going to come out of that and, and how it's going to bring blessings in my life. But James doesn't go there. He just says, consider it all joy when you fall into every kind of trial that there is. Those that cause disappointment and pain and suffering and agony and frustration and problems with, with family and friends and neighbors, consider it all joy when every one of those things happen in your life. Well, James, how in the world are we supposed to do that? James' answer is, well, I want you to look at the outcome because it's, it's in the trying of your faith that you develop perseverance, that you develop that steadfastness that will not quit. Uh, think about we're in a, a season or a time of year when football teams are getting ready to start their season and, and can you imagine a coach saying to the team, the guys, I tell you what, uh, we're going to be playing this Friday night, so I tell you what, I want you to rest all week. Just don't do anything. Let's don't, let's don't get out and, and practice or learn. Just, we'll just have a good time Friday night when the game time comes. No, you can't imagine that. He's going to put them through running the different plays, running all of the different ideas, showing films of that opponent and what they've done and, and all of those kinds of things to get them ready because it's in the trying of their actions. It's in practicing that they see, well, this is how I handle that, and that they develop the strength physically and mentally and emotionally to be able to face that game time when it comes. God says, listen, you're going to go through every kind of thing. It's how you face the trials and the, the temptations, the problems of your life, that you develop that kind of perseverance that'll keep you holding on. Now, I'm telling you, it doesn't ever come naturally, I don't think, at least it hasn't to me. That, that you would, when, when trouble, when, for example, uh, people began to, uh, to do things against you or say things, against, it never feels right to say, thank you, Lord. Never feels right to go out and say to a person that's been unkind to you, I sure appreciate that. No, uh, that's, that's not the norm. But God says what you go through, the trial, are, are God working in your life so that you might develop that kind of perseverance that no matter what the trials may be, that you can hang tight and live that life. Think about Paul at the very end of his life when he looks back in writing Timothy, and he said, that, that time's come. The time of my departure is here. I, 
I fought the good fight. I, I finished the course. I've kept the faith. Therefore, there's laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me in that day, and not to me only, but to all those that love is appearing. Let's work on that <clears throat> challenge to consider it all joy when we fall into all kinds of trials. I just wonder what the results will be. May God bless us today as we try.